Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black and I'm so excited to invite you to come taste take a closer look at our newest collection of stamps and dies and this collection is titled daydream and I had to look up the definition of daydream a series of pleasant thoughts that distract one's attention from the present so I invite all of you to just take a moment here and enjoy some of these new products and inspiration and some time to just daydream perhaps we should call it craft dreaming <laughs> and enjoy all that our newest spring collection has to offer. To start off, let's take a look at the newest sentiment sets that are included in this collection. I'll give you a look at each one and then you'll notice these used throughout the cards throughout the video. So the first sentiment set is 30-799 Friendship Sentiments. You might want to hit pause and check these out. They are really beautiful sentiments that are perfect right now when sometimes we can't be as close as we want to to our loved ones and our friends and family. There's some really great sentiments there you can incorporate um, in your cards to them. Next up we have 30-797 Scripture Sentiments. These are beautiful all year round and especially expressing love when sending cards. They're also really great for Bible journey, journaling so we're glad to add these in this collection. We also have 30-802 Smiles. You can never have too many smiles and these are really great cards for friendship. Here's a look at one of these sentiments featured on a card. We also have a miniature 3 by 4 inch transparent set, 30-800, Faith, Hope, and Love. These look beautiful used together or individually or even just the small words can be used as a small sentiment on your cards. And finally, another sentiment set which I have used on many cards. I love this one. This is 30-803 Hope Sentiments. And this allows you to mix and match those different fonts and versions of the word hope with smaller sentiments that coordinate perfectly. So for example, here I've stamped the word hope and we've got is passion for what is possible. But that can be mixed and matched with all of the different smaller sentiments included in the set. It also makes it easy to stamp them in different colors on your your cards. So now that you've seen all of the sentiments in this new collection, let's take a look at this Garden of Cling stamps. I don't know about you, but I love all things floral when it comes to stamping, and this is the collection that has that for you. So the first the first stamp is this Cling stamp 40-722 Fresh Ferns. There's so many different ways to use this. For my first card, I have just stamped it and done a very simple, almost one layer card if you don't count the butterfly there and then on my second card I've used it more as a sort of background element with a loose watercolor look and a die cut flower layered on top but it certainly adds a lot of movement and a lot of freshness no matter which way you decide to use that fern to do my cards I stamped it using memento toffee crunch ink and then painted it in with distress ink reinkers Next up, more flowers for you. This is 40-727 Sweet Centerpiece, and it certainly is a sweet centerpiece. For my card here, I've stamped it and colored it in with a mix of gouache and Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors. There you can see one of our beautiful sentiments used with this. Now on the next card, I've used just the very top part of that stamp to create a floral border along the side of my card. So there's lots of different ways that you can use this stamp, making it very versatile, springy, and just a delight to use. Here we have some brush stroke stamps. There's so many fun techniques with these. This one is 40-739 Flying Colors. I've done a very simple card here with just some marker coloring directly onto my stamp, misting, and then stamping it down. And here I've done a second card where I use those same techniques, but then added some sponging and inking to the center of the card and added one of our new die cuts around the edges there. And there'll be more about those die cuts coming 
up later in this video so make sure you stay tuned to the very end to check out these awesome die cuts that will be coming your way. Next up we have 40-740 Daydream, another gorgeous collection of flowers. This is a really fun stamp to use. It's very easy to use, so if you're new to brush stroke stamping, this may be one that you enjoy. It covers a, an A2 size card beautifully, so the card that you're seeing here is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. There's lots of different ways and positions you can stamp it onto your card. So for mine, I stamped it down at the bottom, but you could cover an entire card with this, or you could use it just tone on tone to create a background sort of designer paper look. This is 40-744 Garden Variety. Again, more beautiful brush stroke stamping. I've stamped this and then just added a sponged background afterward and one of our new die cut sentiments there along the side. This is another great brush stroke stamp to give a try if you're new to brush stroke stamping, but if you love brush stroke stamps and you've been using them, you can also do many fun techniques with this stamp. Here's a very clean and simple card featuring this stamp. This is 40-728 Entranced, a very unique looking stamp which I find very fun to work with. Works great here. I did some stamping using water-based markers, so coloring directly onto my stamp, misting with water, and then stamping onto Bristol cardstock, a smooth cardstock, and then doing some sponging to the background. Now we also have some great scenic stamps in this collection. So the first here is 40-747 Arbors. This is such a beautiful stamp that can be used so many different ways. You can add pretty much any sentiment to this and it will work. It's great for masculine cards. I think this would be stunning for fall cards. You could also add, you know, reds and oranges and yellows to the leaves. You can also keep it very clean and simple like I've done on this card with just basic stamping and a sentiment with some twine. Another Scenic stamp in this collection is 40-752 Pathway. This is beautiful once it's stamped and painted in and I just love that perspective of that path. This is also really great with that new sentiment, the friendship sentiment set that has a lot of sentiments about distance and even though we may be far apart, we're still close in, in our hearts. Um, now, there's more flesh, fresh flowers coming your way. So here are some transparent sets with even more gorgeous flowers. This is 30-689 Graceful Lily. Boy, this flower is so fun to color. It's lots of open area where you can do your shading, try out different color schemes together, or you can keep it just very simple. Like here I've stamped it in black and just use one color of paint, a Distress Ink Reinker used as watercolor, to paint it in. So you can do as much shading, keep it as detailed as you want, or you can just keep it very simple. On the next card, I've used this same stamp to stamp all the way around the perimeter of my card in order to create um, a lovely border and then just simply add a sentiment to the middle. Now, more fresh flowers. We have a 30-705 Enliven a really happy looking stamp. Here I've stamped it a couple of times across my card to create some movement kind of cascading down from the right to the left and there is that hope sentiment set again and then here I just used a touch of that enliven stamp set along the left hand side to create a border of flowers and then I could make my sentiment and die cutting the featured element on the card. And like I said, there's more about those die cuts coming up here at the end of the video. I have a couple more beautiful transparent stamp sets to share with you. This is 30-805 Spring Day, great for Easter or spring cards. We also have 30-806 Pansy Gaze, and I have a card coming up here with that. This is really fun to color. Just just really delightfully illustrated and has a lot of life and beauty to it in that flower itself. 
Now next up we have our furry friends. We have not forgotten them. They always bring a smile to our face and are great when you're daydreaming or craft dreaming. <laughs> this is 30 801 for you. I love these little mice carrying this rose. It's just a great way to send to someone to brighten their day, send them flowers. Here I fussy cut them out and layered them onto my card, but you certainly do not need to do any fussy cutting with these. I've done another card here where I've just stamped and painted them in, and I just love the different movement you can get with these, um, like I did positioning them going up the hill. Now here is our Berry Wishful and Berry Wishful cutout and a card created with this little cutie. Great to send for birthday wishes or just any time to a friend. Now here are those standalone dies that I mentioned earlier. These are so wonderful. I found them very versatile and used them on lots of different cards. This first one is Bunch of Daisies. Now this is kind of a negative die cut. So wherever you place this in die cut, it will cut out like where you see here, the petals, the stems, um, the top of the flowers. And then you can layer that on top of other colors of cardstock. For mine, I used one as a stencil and colored through that and then layered it on top. But it really creates a sort of, how'd she do that look when your recipient opens up your card. Next up, a very versatile die cut set. This is Thanks and Hello 51-638. I use this on several cards. They just are a great way to add some dimension. I love the size of them. They're bold but don't take up too much of the card. So on this card you can see this is four and a quarter by five and a half an A2 size card. Um, as is this card and it just gives you an idea of how they can be used. You can arrange them in different ways or different positions on your card to get even more use out of them and they look totally different depending on how you use them. Here we have 51-639 Fern Border. This is really great if you like to create scenic um, type of cards with critters or other die cut flowers like I've done here. So I used just a portion of that border die and then layered some other die cut flowers behind it. Just a really quick way to give a finishing touch. You can also trim apart some of those ferns and add them to your scenes or collections of flowers, uh, die cut flowers you might have on a card. So here you can see I just added a few of those behind those cute little mice. And here is 51-648 Butterfly String. Now I love to add butterflies to my cards as embellishments. So what I love about this die cut is you can use it as a string of butterflies like I've done on this card or what I did is I die cut a whole bunch of these from watercolor paper and I just had them ready and I could just trim them off of the string and add them to a card individually whenever they needed that extra something. Here is a 51 650 viridescent. And oh, this is a beautiful die. Just on its own, it makes an impact, but you can also mix and match it with stamped flowers or die cut flowers like I've done here. Now, if you have any questions about the other supplies that are used on any of these cards, I'll put a link down in the YouTube description box below. And on our blog in the next couple of weeks, we will be sharing each card that you're seeing here along with all of the products that are used on it. Here again are more cards with that viridescent. As you can see, it's just so versatile in the many different ways you can use it. Here I've even trimmed apart different portions of that die and then layered it with our leaves die. Now those don't match up exactly, but I love that. It just creates more movement for those leaves in the background. Now for me, these next dies are must have geometrics. And what I love about these, you can use them with cute, you can use them with elegant, you can use them for holiday cards, everyday cards, anything. So this first is 51-644 geometric circles. So here's a look at this, just white on white layered. This is beautiful and it cuts perfectly. It is really beautiful and again you could put critters in front of that, flowers in front of it. You can put layers of color behind it so you see more of the pattern. I used it a, mostly white on white just to create that texture and that pattern but you could really accentuate it and also make it the main focal point on your card. 
We also have 51-649 geometric frames. These are awesome because you can layer them on top of each other and do different colors. Like here I've done a light turquoise and a darker turquoise to create sort of a lattice look. You can use them in the same color. Um, you can use them individually and get a different look. But they add so much to the cards. I just love dies like this that can be used year round and in so many different ways. So this card I layered them together and on this card I just used them individually in the background in a tone on tone look just to give this card that extra finishing touch for the background. And finally we have a great set of frame dies. This is 51-651 sewing stackers. Each one of these has a different stitched design to it and so there's lots of versatility with just the one die set so you're getting a lot for your investment. You can run them through your machine two at a time to create a frame like on this card and on this next card you can mix and match the sizing that you do if you do um, a smaller one inside of a larger one. So you can create all different kinds of frames. You can put your die cuts inside of there or stamping inside of that. This die set also features this individual um, frame that does a scallop and if you use the leftover piece you get this frame. So there again is so many different ways that you can use these frames. I love the sizing and I love the variety that is included. Here's a close up here I made a card with some of those interior pieces that come inside the center of this frame. So even that has a lot of uses and you can see here where you can combine those into um, to make a card just with those, the scissors, the buttons, the stitching, the thimbles, all of that come in the center of this die set. And then again here is just a little portion where I've used just a touch of one of the frames around a sentiment to finish off a card. I thank you so much for joining us to do some daydreaming and to check out our newest spring release. Remember you can connect with us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, as well as our website and blog and I will have all of those listed for you down in the YouTube description box below.